Hello, all my beauties and brainies, and I hope you guys are all having an a amazing morning, afternoon, night, wherever it is where you live. Today, we're going to be talking about Sephora kids. This has been such an explosion in conversation with everyone calling out these Sephora kids for mixing all the samples, opening products so that they can sample them, just being crazy in general. And while I think that those issues are um, genuine concerns, as well as the concerns that young girls should not be using retinal products as it's just way too strong for a young kid and they don't need these six step skincare routines as a 10 year old. While I think all of those things are true, I kind of wanted to just add my own opinion and some other things that I when I was looking deeper into this kind of was finding. I do want to do a small disclaimer and just say that anyone can be a brat. <laughs> These kids are being under fire also for just being a brat to Sephora workers which no one has a right to do. I just want to also say that as someone who has also worked in customer service anyone can be a brat in any age group. Um, one of the critiques that someone was making was that um, when the girls would come and the drunk elephant bronzing drops were all bought out, they was um, a lot of them were being like, oh, well, but I want it. I just wanna say that I have definitely gotten that from like six year old men. So this is not an age specific issue in behavior um, and being a brat. I think that there are also other issues though that do need to be talked about. One of the things that um, really surprised me when I was looking into this issue is the amount of mommy influencers who are encouraging their young girls to buy things at Sephora so that they can film these Sephora holes. Um, on TikTok. I think I'm going to make a whole video kind of talking about it more but just to kind of mention it here there are <laughs> these TikTok accounts where it's like a mommy and me and girls as young as like three years old are be do are doing these Sephora hauls um, with products that they do not need. Their skin does not need as a three-year-old eye cream and, and retinol or really any type of skincare as a three-year-old. Um, and I think there is a lot of child exploitation kind of going on in using your child for profit. It was, it was kind of crazy when I was, um, looking into it so I think just to mention it here I think that is partially the reason why there is such an explosion in the Sephora kids. I think another reason that there is just this explosion of Sephora kids is um Toys R Us closed down, Justice closed down, a lot of malls are closing down um and so there's just not really places for these young girls to be going to. And so then they end up in Sephora. I know a lot of people are talking about how we don't want our young girls to have such a low self-confidence because they're learning how to do makeup at like three years old, um, five years old, 10 years old. They should learn how to love themselves and to be themselves in their own skin before putting on makeup. And I would definitely agree with that. Um, I've also, when I was looking into this, heard people expressing concern as when you're using retinol, that's just like such a strong product that would just destroy a young kid's skin. And several Sephora workers mentioned how they could see the chemical burns on these young girls' faces because some of them are using it on a daily basis, which even as an adult, you should not be using such strong exfoliants on a daily basis. And I think that is um, a really big concern is that they're buying these skincare products before learning anything about skincare um and without 
a lot of guidance in their skincare. And so it's really destroying their skin, which is just really completely unnecessary. Another concern that people were talking about, which I did not even think of because honestly, I'm more of a TJ Maxx person than a Sephora person, um, is now that Sephora is showing is is selling dildos, you have these five year old girls, 10 year old girls who are in there buying makeup at the same store that is that is selling dildos. It's just a very weird situation and um I don't know I think it has kind of creeped people out a little bit I, I I yeah I don't know it just seems really weird I think it's because Sephora is just not intended for 10 year olds and three year olds that when they added dildos they just were not thinking about this whole new age category that is going to be just hurting to their stores so I am kind of interested to see how Sephora handles this issue and make sure that um it's if these young girls are going to continue to be going to Sephora it's a place that is openly <laughs> more open to them maybe I should say I do think that part of why this is going so crazy also is that a lot of this type of behavior has kind of exploded in the adult realm and so I think the kids have just learned it from us. For example, a lot of people are calling out these kids because they're mixing products, opening products that are intended to be sold. However, if you go to TJ Maxx, how many items in the skincare and the makeup section are opened and used and swatched and i mean i've had some where like people will like actually shoplift the product and so i almost bought just an empty box i mean it is just disgusting so these kids are learning it from us so to put the whole blame of an issue onto these 10 year old girls i feel like is a little bit convenient i think there is definitely some parenting issues but just society as a whole even if you don't have kids um there are plenty of people that don't have kids that were swatching things in TJ Maxx and opening things in TJ Maxx and I think these kids partially learned it from that type of bad behavior um and people are also looking at this type of like leaving these girls to just shop in Sephora alone or young girls expecting their parents to kind of buy them whatever they want as just a Sephora girls issue but honestly it is so freaking common um I used to work at a used bookstore it would be absolutely insane the amount of times that um this mom and her kids would come in they would look at the picture books they would leave i would be busy stalking running all around the store stocking books and i would um just walk by the picture book section and there's all these picture books on the ground like you cannot even see the ground there are so many picture books there i mean it's not even that difficult okay so you take a book down you look at it and then you just stick it back there. I mean, it's really not that difficult. And the amount of times that it happened when the parents were still supervising them is absolutely crazy. The amount of parents that think that your job is to work at the bookstore, but also to be a housekeeper to their kids is absolutely insane. I also used to work at um, Embassy Suites, which is a hotel. And we would be getting these um, like middle school sports groups and the parents would be all the way in the back, um, not in the back of the hotel, but like the back of the seating. And they would, I mean, they would be getting drunk. And I just don't mean, and I, and I don't mean just like, oh, I'm just gonna take a, a glass of wine to, to relax. I mean, they would come in 
with so much alcohol and then they would get wasted and then they would send people out to go get more things of alcohol. I mean, wasted, wasted. And their kids are still there, just in case you didn't know, because they came in for a, a sports tournament. So their kids are running around all over the hotel. If you've ever been to Embassy Suites, it's kind of set up in a circle and you have the rooms, you have the <laughs> the walking space for lack of a better word and then you have the railing and then it all um looks down onto the first floor and so you could just look up as you were checking people in and see on every floor there would be kids running around screaming knocking on guest doors I mean crazy so it isn't even like the parents don't know what's going on because all you have to do is literally just go this much up and you can see it you don't even have to look up and you can hear it I mean it would be absolutely insane and there though the most crazy time was I was running towels because for this age group they all go to the pool and then they all have to take showers so it's towels 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 all night long Anyway, so I was running towels and as I was heading to the back to get these towels, I saw something at the corner of my eye. And so I, I, I backed up and I looked over and there's just this baby. And she was opening the cabinets in the breakfast area and um, grabbing the extra supplies that are over there so it was like these styrofoam cups for the coffee in this plastic bag and she was like putting it in her mouth and i'm about to put it in her mouth so i run over i i take the take the plastic bag of cups i put it back in there i close the cabinet and then i'm looking for the parent you know the mom the dad the grandparents i mean i don't discriminate here i mean i will take whoever I'm just looking for someone who's watching this baby and I mean it's a young young baby I mean all she can do is crawl that's how young she is um and I'm looking all around for this parent and there's no one I mean no one is watching this baby so then I'm like backing up while keeping eyes on the kid and <laughs> I head to the nearest table and I'm like uh is anybody is this anybody's kid and they're like oh yeah it's whatever 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 and I was like so you don't want to like watch her and they're like oh no she's just crawling I was like yeah no 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 you need to watch your kids and this is the table that's in the back getting drunk getting wasted and letting your kids run around screaming is so disrespectful but to allow your baby to just crawl around completely unsupervised and get into things that can kill her is is so crazy it's so crazy it's so crazy i just yeah no i was like yeah no you need to be watching your kid this is not a playground this is not daycare you are responsible for your kids and it would also be an issue because we would talk to these parents and be like hey your kids are running around screaming like this is a hotel this is not okay and they'd be like oh our johnny is such a good boy he would never do that and then um, our manager would stop these kids and take them down to the parents and be like, is this your Johnny? And they were like, yes. And I was like, okay, well, this can't happen. Mm -mm. And so part of this is bad parenting. And part of it is just this expectation of these customer service um, people to be their job, your housekeeper, your nanny, instead of you being a parent and there's just like this really um disgusting confused culture ideology of people feeling like they can just like decide when their parenting role stops and it would be one thing if you're like the kardashians and you're bringing a nanny to take care of your kids 
that's one thing. Or if you want to relax, that's fine. You can like switch off, you know, like you and you will watch the kids tonight and we'll rotate. We'll go get drunk and you and you watch the kids and we'll just rotate. Like that way you can relax as well. But to say that hotel staff, Sephora workers, bookstore workers are responsible for watching your kids, picking up after your kids is just so crazy. There is just this culture of just complete disrespect and just complete arrogance in such a entitled manner. I just, it's absolutely crazy. And I think the most surprising thing I found when I was, when I was into this is a lot of people were saying that we need to be putting a um an age restriction on sephora which i think is valid if they are showing dildos selling dildos um other people were saying that it needs to be how it would be like at a swimming pool where it, you need parental supervision at all times and i think those are valid um options i also just feel like it will be really unfair to uh, Sephora employees still because I think we're going to have the same reactions we had during COVID where, you know, people are screaming or shoving past or, you know, I just feel like they would, it would create a lot of situations trying to end a situation. So I do kind of question how it would work this is a very new situation for sephora so i do wonder how they will handle it um i don't know i would love to hear from all of you what you guys kind of think would be the solution but the number one um thing that shocked me when i was looking into this issue was there was this case which is partially why i don't know if having parents supervision would completely solve this issue um there were these sephora kids but they were with their parents they were with a mom and they were doing blackface and making monkey noises and the mom is there taking photos um probably to post on facebook she's taking videos and um honestly encouraging her kids a sephora vendor comes up and says you know this is not appropriate this is not okay you need to stop doing this and the mom was um being like oh they're just joking blah 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 and a um another customer in the store um was filming it and she later came up to the mom and said you know um hey that that's just not okay and the mom actually said okay you can talk to them about it so instead of a mom in the first place teaching her kids that that's not okay instead of following up with them and saying it's not okay um she's now expecting someone else to be a parent to her kids okay so now we're racist and entitled okay great so then after this customer leaves sephora to go to their dinner reservation um the mom and her friend actually run after her screaming telling her that she needs to delete the footage because she did not give permission i feel like that is a kind of um A lot of people have different opinions where people are saying you know yes that is within the mother's rights to say yes or no you can film my kids and other people are saying that um if the mom is taking photos then why can't somebody else take photos if you think it's okay that your kids are doing blackface and you're gonna post it on facebook why does it matter if somebody else posts it on tiktok which i don't know i think that both ones are valid 
And I think it's absolutely crazy that instead of correcting your kid about doing blackface, what's important to you is that somebody has pictures of your kids doing blackface. It's more important to you to pretend that this issue didn't happen than to actually correct the issue and to make sure it never happened in the first place and it never happens again. So that was definitely my most shocking find when looking into Sephora kids and I don't know if we can find a solution for that one because I the amount of arrogance and just entitlement in that whole situation is just crazy but I would love to hear from all of you what, what do you guys think of this issue do you guys think that people are overreacting in regards to Sephora kids what do you guys think that we should do to kind of help um resolve the situation and what is kind of the biggest issue in regards to this do you guys think I would love to hear from all of you. So I hope you guys all have an amazing morning, night, afternoon, wherever it is where you live. And I appreciate you hanging out with me. Hope to see you again. Thank you.